Absolutely. Yo, what's up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, would you welcome? It is time to start our eBay breaks for the day 2019 Top Series 1 Baseball Hobby Half Case number 5. So, yeah, Zachary, if I had to give you a guess, I would say an hour from now to be on the safe side. But I'm going to tell you, like I tell everybody that asked me the same question, keep watching, and I guarantee you will not miss it. All right. Let's let's uh, try to finish this before the Super Bowl. Uh, Christopher, do you mean in in was it a an eBay break or was it a store break? Because my partner was live yesterday, Jason. So off the top of my head, I have no idea what's going on there. Since I was not live last night. Appreciate that, Zachary. Thank you, man. But yeah, I would say probably probably an hour. Hopefully less. I, I want to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Like I said, there's just a lot of cards. So I know Jason can do this in like 20 minutes or so. I am not nearly as skilled or as wonderful as Jason, so I'm probably going to be closer to the 40 minute mark. Well, again, Christopher, I, I don't know what happened yesterday, dude. Uh, let me see. What Were you in an eBay break or were you in a store break? Uh, Kato, because because we just we just decided not to. I guess my partner handles our eBay listings and silver packs are not included in this break. Yeah, dude, it's 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 uh it's a it's a journey, Zachary. It's a journey. Alright, so Christopher, I'm gonna have to look into that because again I have no idea what's going on. Um as far as you're concerned. All I all I will say is this, Christopher. If you bought the team, man, it's yours. So I don't know what he's shown on the screen or or what have you, but as long as you bought the team, man, it's yours. I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it. Well, true, Cato, but we we didn't we didn't exactly we didn't exactly not put it on either. So you can't assume that we were giving away silver packs, man. No offense, but that's kind of not correct either you're right we are we should have put it in the listing but we didn't put it in there either so uh assuming that silver packs are included kind of not smart is what i kind of want to say well i just said it so but you are right though we should put it in the listing i need to tell jason uh, to take care of that Cause he's the one that handles all of our eBay stuff. Well, yeah, Kato, I, I don't, I don't handle the eBay listings. My partner does. But listen, Kato, I mean, you seem pretty upset, dude. If you want a refund, I can take care of that, no problem. Just shoot me a message on eBay or something, and if you want a refund, man, I'll, I'll take care of you, man. Cause at the end of the day, you are right. We should have put in the listings that no silver packs. Uh, would be included in this break. So if you're unhappy, man, you know, uh, I can take care of your refund if you like. Or I can send you a, a couple silver packs if that'll make you happy, even though they're not part of the break. But, I mean, either or, man, you know, we, we'll, we'll take care of you either way, bro. All right, let's see what we got in this stuff. A whole bunch of cards, that's what. I'm just going to separate everything as best I can. We got Cal Hendricks of the Cubs to 2019. Yeah, they got stuff to 2019, and this is kind of crazy. I, I I mean, I hear you, Cato, but, I mean, I, I, again, I don't know what to tell you, but my, my partner handles all the eBay listings, like I said, so I, I genuinely don't know 
what what the de what the details are on on any given break. Uh, I more or less handle the store stuff, the Rip City Cards website stuff. So again, man, if, if it's silver packs that you're that you're upset about not being included, I could send you a couple packs, man. Uh, but yeah, dude, you you are correct. We we should have put in the listing that they're not included. I will admit you are right on that. But at the same time, we, we didn't state that they were included. So, I mean, listen, again, if it's silver packs you're worried about, dude, I'll send you some and hopefully get you a nice hit here. And then we can all be happy and enjoy the Patriots lose later today. Hopefully they lose. Cracking jokes. Got a random that. It's the 2019. All the hits seem to be like in the middle of the packs here. There you go, Kato. But yeah, dude, I mean, if you have any questions, man, you know, moving forward, if you do decide to break with us uh, moving forward, um, definitely read the description of the listings, man. You know, I, I, st I stress that every single day uh to to just to everyone that, that anybody that's watching or listening really uh specifically those that do ebay breaks with us because any given break is different uh you know some breaks we don't ship uh veteran base cards like in this break we don't we don't ship veteran base cards um so it, if you can if you have any questions anybody out there you know just feel free to send us a message uh, we're pretty good ab about answering messages in, in time, you know, as it's me and Jason. So, we'll, we'll take care of you, man. That's kind of what we do out here at Rip City. Tom going to get his sixth ring today? Hopefully not. I'm hoping that uh, Aaron Donald, the Defensive Player of the Year... We'll have something to say about that. That's the 2019. I like the reprints and this stuff. The old school tops logo on that. Elvis Anders Rangers. Hey, uh, Kato, if you don't mind me asking, what teams did, or what team did you win in this stuff? Uh, so I know where to send the, uh, the packs. Miguel Sano, Twins 2019. Time about to be the GLOAT, the greatest loser of all time. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I hate, dude, I, I hate the Patriots. And I've, I've never backed down from that stance. I can respect the man and his greatness, but uh, definitely want to see him, like, crying. Yadi Molina of the Cardinals with a patch. Downtown Sports FL. I'm going to uh, write that bad boy down. James, you're a Cowboy fan? Dude, at least your team is relevant. My team has not been relevant since uh, this guy named Dan Marino was still uh, in shoulder pads. All right, Cato, I got that uh, name written down. We'll take care of you, dude. Especially with 10 teams, now I can really understand why you are uh, irritated. But yeah, y'all, if you guys ever have any questions as far as eBay breaks are concerned, you know, feel free to send us a message. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. Back to the hoop boot. Whoa, what is that? I, I, ain't never, I have never read that word before in my life. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I mean, I've, I've been a Dolphin fan for as long as I can, like, remember breathing, uh, unfortunately. 
I'm a Miami boy, so I, I root for all the hometown teams. Which is another reason why I hate the Patriots. Because uh, there are so many Patriot fans in Miami, it's ridiculous. It's like, yo, you have you ever been to have you ever been to New England? Ever had some clam chowder? No. Uh, Brad Boxberger, 2019 D backs. So it's just it's just super irritating, especially when you go to a Dolphins game and you look in the crowd. It's usually sold out. But whenever the Patriots are in town, it's mostly Patriots fans. And that is so aggravating. My man Christopher, F oh, so so yeah, so you you have a reason to be a a, a Patriots fan. I I cannot be mad at that, especially if you were a Patriots fan before Tom Brady came around and started frolicking on on the field. That's a beautiful thing. You the, you, you deserve it. But for all those bandwagon fans, you can you can suck it. Oh hell yeah, Fan, uh, fancy, Mister Fancy. Uh, that's that's kind of what we do in Miami. You know, we we, we do know how to party. Especially since you know the alcohol prices in the stadium aren't exactly uh, too friendly. You definitely got to do the tailgate big, because if you walk in drunk, you don't got to spend no money. You know. By the time halftime comes around, you still got a little buzz. You gonna be, you should be all right. And by the time the game is over, you'll most likely be de dehydrated, so you'll kind of still feel a little drunk. You still have a little buzz. It's, it's science. It's science. Yeah, Christopher. I remember when the pay. That's why. That's why. The hatred runs so deep is because I remember when the Patriots were the laughing stock of the NFL. And then all of a sudden, Tommy Brady comes in the league. Oh, the tuck rule. And then, it, oh my God. But for all the true fans that, that were that suffered through the Grogan years and, and so on and so forth. I have nothing but uh but 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 respect for you. I still hate the team. What two what Super Bowls? I remember you guys lost to the to the Packers uh in, in the nineties. I don't know what year specifically, and that's that's about it. Really fancy, I, I, Mr. Fancy. I did not know that. Was it, uh, but was it in the playoffs though? With a chance to go to the AFC Championship game? Or wait, or was that the AFC Championship game? I can't remember. I know it was in the playoffs though. I know that for a fact. Alright, hopefully we get an autograph in this, uh, in this box here. Only one hit in the hobby, man. And it's either a relic or an autograph. So far, I mean, I've only personally opened up a case of this stuff. And there is 12 boxes in a case. We're looking at maybe three autographs in the whole thing. Mr. Otani for the Angels past there. You know, you know, Mr. Fancy, I think it probably wasn't that big a deal. Mainly because the, uh, you know, the internet wasn't as big as as it was in 2001 compared to 86. 
and 96, you know what I mean? So I think maybe that's why it gets talked about more than those other two. Plus, the Patriots are a very polarizing team. You know, I find that people either hate or love the Patriots. Like, there's no in-between. So people are going to feel some type of way. Whereas the Bears and Packers like, oh, you know, uh, whatever. We got Felipe Vasquez of the Pirates 2019. That is, needs to be random. Two teams on that. trying to find those short prints just by by eye the only way to really know is to look at the back of the card uh, and look for the code you can more or less sometimes tell like there's there's one with them in, like in their suits or something they're usually like out of uniform and warm-ups or something like that rich hill dodgers 2019 so for anyone out there wondering oh i wonder if he's gonna catch the short prints even if i don't you know i do have this a, a nice stack here uh, that we will go through and make sure that uh, we don't miss out on any of that stuff. Short prints are code 67. The super short prints are code 68. And the base cards are just code 10. It's the last two numbers on the back of the card. There's like a, a code. Hashtag it starts with hashtag CMP. Can't really see there in the camera, but just 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 let you know that I am aware. Chris Iannetta of the Rockies. Got a little chrome situation here that needs to get random. Two teams on that. So we know who Mr. Fancy's rooting for. What about everybody else? Do I have any other fellow Patriot haters in the house? for Piazza. I wonder what the Super Bowl commercials are going to be like this year. That looks like a short print. And that's because it is. Buster Posey of the Giants with the old Code 67. Like I said, you can kind of just look at the card and tell, like, okay, that's that's different. Or maybe I'm just that that good. I'm just maybe I'm just that good. I'm definitely not, but I pretend to be. A little chrome. I like the I like the stadium cards. They're different. I like difference. I 
I don't like the cards that are facing upside down or what have you. Baseball season right around the corner. Man, this year's almost over. It's already February. Sheesh. Jordan Zimmerman, Tigers 2019. The year is almost over. Josh Donaldson of the Indians 2019. Robert Selman of the Mets. That is to 50. What's up, J. Mess? How you doing? Two boxes down. Oh Lord. Yes, these are all base cards. When they should be inserts and whatnot. There we go. Now see, we gotta go through these. Yeah, there's a reason. There's a method to the madness. It's a good thing I put everything to the side. So I can go through them again and double check. I just want to get that rookie out of there. Thought I seen another rookie. Nope, it doesn't hurt to double check though. Oh boy. Box three! Yay! Anybody having fun? Yeah, I mean, this is, uh. This break is something. <laughs> so, J. Mass, I saw the hockey coins got done. Were there any gold coins that came out of any of those things, or what? Boy wants an Oreos patch. Oh snap. There was a gold coin? Oh man. Any idea who it is or the only way you know is once you actually redeem it or something. Yeah, exactly. Just read the chat there, G Miss. That kind of sucks. You know you won't know who it is until you get it redeemed.
You talking about this J Man Series One? Oh, look at that. There's the hit right there. Buster Posey, the Giants with the patch. I like the jump the, the jumbo version of this better. You get one auto, two relics per box. And the patches on there are kinda cool. They have the hat logo patches on there. This I, I like to call this like a it's like a starter set. You know what I mean? It's like it's like the you're like your training wheels for the hobby. But at the same time you can get some I mean if you hit you can hit something real nice. The pictures in this stuff are cool. If it wasn't for the ungodly amount of base cards in there, this would be kind of a sweet break. But yeah, it's exact. It's exactly as you say, James. I mean, but there are people for the people that build sets and stuff like that. Then you know they'll they'll, they'll like that. I guess. I don't know. I, I don't collect. I don't buy. I don't sell. I don't. So, so, I don't know. I'm still learning. Adam Eaton Nationals 2019. A little chrome action there for Julio Theron of the Braves. I'm actually going to attempt to watch baseball this year for the whole season. I've never done that. So it's going to be interesting to see the Marlins be mediocre the entire time. I'm, I'm curious to see what Derek Jeter is going to do with the club. Because we had some talent, man. We had Christian Yelich. We traded him for like a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Jay Bruce, Mets 2019. Rick Porcello for the Red Sox. That's the 67. All <laughs> right, mess. Anyway, how's your weekend going, man? Did Jason do anything nice for you uh, Friday or Saturday? That looks like a short print. I mean, like, again, you can just tell. Jose Ramirez of the Indians. I believe that is 6-7. It is. Good old short print right there. Hmm. Okay, JMS. I see what you're saying. You know, I, I try to go like on MILB and look look at the prospects or whatever. I was even considering like buying, you know, MLB the show or something. And just look at the stats and be like, oh snap, that guy that guy got a good rating. He must be a baller. Kind of deal, you know, as a cheat code. Cause not for nothing, you know, they do the research as is. So you know, I might as well just you know, just uh like like back in the college days just cite your sources. You know, MLA format or, or what have you. Byron Buxton, 2019 Twins. So why should why why should I do the research when somebody else has done it already? <laughs> no, yeah, prospects is a whole other ball game. How you like that limited football, Jameis? Oh, I, I like it. Of course, it'd be better without uh, sticker autos. But they do have on-card RPAs, and those things are pretty sweet. Christian Yelich of the Brewers, 2019.
some of these cards I've like never seen before so yeah like this one that's a that's a short print Whit Merrifield of the Royals that is code 67 after a while you kind of just you know you see enough of the cards over and over and over again your brain does amazing things like oh I've seen that card before who is that you know and then you stop and you pause and like oh snap that's a short print the human mind is a beautiful thing Dude, I'm hungry. Hungry. I brought food, though. So, no trips to the vending machine. Danny Duffy, Royals 2019. <clears throat> oh, you're working on a set? Jameis Boom Boom Get this over here Try to be organized All right I know right fancy it's it's nice I like it man it's nice stuff I hear you, Fancy. It, it definitely, well, it depends on the team, of course. Did you guys see Saquon Barkley won Rookie of the Year? Over Baker Mayfield? Which I kind of thought was going to happen. Because the guy put, I mean, I had him on my fantasy team. And, man, numbers-wise, if, if you didn't know he was a rookie, he was probably the second, third best running back in the entire higher NFL as a rookie. Definitely. Nice, Zachary. Very nice. Oh, you got a little RPA situation there? Yeah, Broncos hit a ball. Oh, Chubbs, 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 Chubbs. Uh, Bradley, oh, Brad, Bradley Chubb. Yeah, Bradley Chubb is a Bronco. You got a display case for the coins? I gotta see a picture of that warlock. Oh, Nick Chubb. Running back for the Browns. Yeah, there's a few Chubbs around. You know, it's very easy to mistake your Chubbs. Speaking of that, I hit a, uh, at a limited... I mean, I don't know if you guys follow our Instagram uh, page or not, I mean, which you should, though. If you look down there, we're on Twitter, Instagram, and on the Bay. Uh, we're also on Reddit, too, at Rip City Cards, if anybody cares, which, again, you should. Because nowadays, it's all about social media. Anyways, I hit a Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb, and Denzel Ward triple auto in limited football a couple nights ago. And it was pretty freaking sweet. The only negative was it, they were sticker autos. But it was a one of three. And oh man, it was gorgeous.
There's some nice stuff in limited booklets. I, I I've hit a booklet. I had the I just haven't hit a quad yet, a quad autograph. I've hit a few doubles, triples, booklets here and there, but the quad eludes me. I've hit just about every big rookie too, except Lamar Jackson. I, I wonder if his mom let him let him auto. Angels uh, ballpark to 2019 there. Is that Godly Chrome? Gotta bring him that. You've seen one quad from the limited set? Yeah, I mean, JMS, yeah, yeah, I figured that's why they do that stuff. I mean, logistically, it makes sense, you know. Sometimes I, I see a card that I haven't seen before, so I... Just to make sure, look at the back of the card. You can never be uh, too safe. John Lester Cubs 2019. Did he? What's up, Fitz? Did he really? I mean, not, not that anybody cares. <laughs> Ah, uh, why would he do that? That's, that's like, you, you, uh, why? I'm trying to understand, like, why he would do that. Like, you're not even, like, on that level to, like, do that. Whatever. Appar apparently, right, Fitz? Lou Trevino A is 2019. I mean, yeah, they they must they must know something we don't. I don't know what it is, but they they know it. There's I was hoping for an auto man, Miguel Cabrera, Tigers patch. As far as gold, this gold standard is concerned, I'm not sure where. I think uh, it's down to 14. I, I think. I don't know. I have to check the store. Short print coming up. Justin Turner of the Dodgers. Code six seven. Short prints are cool. There's like one short print in every box of hobby. More or less. At least that's what it seems like. Baseball glove equipment evolution. Gotta get random that since it doesn't actually have a team designation on there.
JD Martinez, 2019 Red Sox. Josh Harrison, Pirates 2019. <sighs> JMS, it's funny you say that because they did do that a few years ago, like a couple years ago, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was Heritage Baseball, uh, where some of them had like coins in there. There was like little little nickels, dimes, quarters. And it was like coins inserted into a card and stuff. Yeah, they were cool looking. I think it was Heritage that did that. It was a baseball product for show. Or it might have been Ginter or Gypsy Queen. One of those like weird products. Yeah, you might be right, Vince. It might it might be Gypsy, but it was definitely baseball. You know what they should do, JMS? Like any time a player gets injured or something, like they tear their ACL or something like that, they should put like, uh, like, oh, this was the syringe that had the morphine that sedated such and such when he had his ACL surgery. You know? I'm, I'm waiting for the day they come out with like straight DNA like cards. Like, I was like, oh, it's a little, it's a little blood sample on the card there. Oh, it's a true one on one. <laughs> oh, that, that's a fingernail from you know Babe Ruth. You know, blah blah blah. Alright, this strange and unusual punishment, I mean, this break is almost over. We're in the fifth box here. And then it's on to Limited. I, I love Limited. Not for nothing. As a breaker, it's freaking awesome. There's like six or seven cards per pack. There's like three packs per box. There's only 14 boxes in a case. It's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. Kirby Yates, Padres, 2019. But here's hoping we pull a, a nasty 101 or something here.
Yo, so tell me how I went to Danny's last night. And I tried to get, uh... Because they have, they have, like, unlimited pancakes. For, like, $4. You get unlimited pancakes. The first order was, like, three pancakes. I hammered them things down. The second order was two pancakes. I took my time, but I ate them. And I was ready for the waitress to come by, you know, and be like, oh, do you want another? Never came by. Never came by. Pretty upset about that. Mr. A. Aaron Judge. Styling and profiling. Willing, dealing, kiss stealing. Limousine riding, jet flying, all that good stuff. Uh. Holding them alligators down right there. That obviously is a short print. Code 67. What's the, is na the nastiest card I've pulled in Tops 1? It's a great question that I don't have an answer to. I have, I'm, I'm trying to think I'm drawing like blanks. Which is not good. <laughs> Corey Dickerson Pirates 2019 Blake Snell 2019 Rays Oh, snap, that's twice that's happened. Well, they got these uh, cool reprints on here. This got the old school Tops logo here at the top left for Trevor Williams Pirates. It's not going to have a code. It'll still register as a base card, code 10 on the back. But that's the second one of these that we've pulled now, which are pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I'm, that's what I'm trying to remember. Like, I don't. I, I think we did this last year too, but I'm trying to remember. Like, I, I don't know. So that's why you know, I say I don't because I genuinely don't know. Aw, JMS, thank you. Thank you for the uh, the kind words and encouragement, man. I, I, I don't know where I would be without you, man. Glaber Torres, Yankees uh, game use memorabilia on that. Not numbered or nothing, but there you go, Yanks. We got Tommy Fam, Rays twenty Stack out of this box. I think I'm about to break a personal record. Do this thing under an hour. <laughs> you gotta rate them that. 
ballpark evolution situation there no team on that actually there are there is a team I lied it's the Cubs there you go so that obviously will go to the Cubs good catch Uncle Jesse thank you Uncle Jesse Cesar Hernandez Phillies 2019 Wow, JMS, nice. Man, I, I need to, I need to figure out what he, what he or she is doing with their life and try to imitate that. Corey Kluber, Indians, twenty-five. Pretty sweet. Ah, uh, yes, we did. Chris, what, the, what was that last year? We did ten cases of Bowman. That was fun. I think it took us like three hours or so. We should do it again. <laughs> All right. It has come down to the last box. Put this stuff away. Well, JMS, you are absolutely right. And considering you know more about the hobby than I will probably ever know, you and I both know why we do this. Yeah, it was a player break. That was a fun sort. It was, it was for, I mean, it wasn't that hard of a sort. You just had to sort it by number. That's how we ended up doing it. Yes, sir, Jameis. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Among other factors, but that is the main one. Yes, sir. So it's a, it's it's a, it's a means to an end, which uh, what are you gonna do? I want to say we go through distributors, JMS. That's what I want to say. We we may do both, to be honest, but I uh, I don't know the details on that. They, they they don't tell me much around here, man. I'm the energy, happy-go-lucky Uncle Jesse that you put on camera five times out the week. Bringing that good mojo. That's 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 what I do. Yeah, Chris, I mean Chris Fitz. That that uh, unless I'm mistaken, has not changed. So yeah. Oh, JMS, that's past tense. What happened, man? 
retired or something. Almost done here. This is the last box, I promise. Alrighty. Yeah, I was gonna try to get this in like 20 30 minutes. That did not happen. Mike Trout happened though, with a patch for the Angels. So not a single autograph came out of this uh, these six boxes. Which means there's a good chance there's an autograph in the other half of this case. Which will be done tomorrow, I believe. Got a random map. Oh dang, Jameis. So what do you what do you think about the current uh, the current state of affairs of the hobby? Like do you feel like it's getting a resurgence now? Cause you know again I'm I'm brand new to this stuff still, even though I'm a breaker. Yeah, you know, again I don't collect, I don't sell, buy or trade any of this stuff. I never bought a pack of baseball cards or anything in my life. Or stolen them for that matter, you know. I was just, I, I can appreciate it, but I've, you know, just not my cup of tea personally. So, you know, I try to learn as much as I can. And people tell me that autographs on cards weren't a thing until like the early 2000s, late 90s, which to me is mind boggling. Because you would think that's like the first thing you would do is when you make a car. Oh, dude, sign it. Have the guy sign it. Chris Davis, 2019 E's. What's up, Ra Ra? You've been real quiet today, bro. Can't say hi. That's that's what I'm afraid of, uh, Jameis. Is that the sweet sweet bubble bursts, and then I gotta go back to work at uh, God knows where. Brandon Crawford Giants 2019. I like these old school cards. The reprints. The Gordon Mariners, Karoom. I got a random that one. Michael Cabrera, Tigers 2019. I feel like once my generation and the younger generation start to realize that this is like a thing, I feel like the hobby's gonna explode. For better or worse. Hopefully for better. But you know how that stuff goes. That coverage at Cardinals 2019. 
There's a short print for Mike Trout of the Angels. I got to say, not a good look, player. Red on red with that ugly-ass mohawk. So, man, somebody had to teach that man how to dress. He can ball. Well, you're looking like a clown right there in that picture. Looking crazy, boy. Anyway, a little short print there for the Angels. Got Jean Segura Mariners on the team. Uh, so Lewis Brinson for the Marlins to 76. And that, my friends, is going to do it. Woo! That, uh, that took a while. Alrighty. So. Uh, these cards, I do need to random them. But I'm going to random them super, super easy. I'm all about making my life easy. So, that's how I'm going to do this. Some of these, though, need to get random amongst all teams. Like these... There's going to be a super easy random. There's teams on the left and on the right of each card. So I'm just going to random them either to the team on the left or on the right. Same as those. These are numbered, so that'll take priority. Uh, what I'm going to do is, at least for those chromes and the numbered ones, this is what I'm going to do. I want to give one to each, and I'm going to give one to each team. Because I have multiples, right? I got plenty. You know, the more the merrier. These, however, since I only have one of them, only have one of each, they're going to go either to the left side team or the right side team. All right? I'm going to roll a die for that. Okay? As far as these are concerned, I'm going to give one to each team. All right? But for these, it's either going to go to the left or the right side team. I'm going to roll a die for it. If I get an odd number, it's going to go to the left side team. If I get an even number, it's going to go to the right side team. Okay? So odd left, even right. Here we go. Odd number three. So this will be Cubs, Red Sox, Cubs, Orioles, and the A's. Matter of fact, do I have doubles of this one? Oh no, I can never mind. The ones are chrome and one's numbered, so okay. And we'll stay with the left side team. Let me write it on the card so uh, my soldiers know what's up. And for those, one to each team. Uh, no, none of none of these none of these are numbered. Like this is not numbered. This was not numbered. The only ones that are numbered are these two. And they're to 2019, so. 
Nothing too crazy. How are you, uh, Mr. G Mayan? And for these, it's gonna go one to each side. So let me make it over that. Boom, done. All right, now this bad boy needs to get random amongst all teams because there's no uh, team on there, no team designation. All right, it is just just a straight up glove. So we're gonna go into the randomizer and random that thing off. Uh, let's roll a die for that. We love our dice around here. Uh, I don't do ones, twos, or threes. I'm superstitious. I'm weird. Uh, one plus three is four. So let's go four times. I'm not going to roll the die all day. All right. So let's put the random up on the screen for you. You may not be able to see that. So I'll blow it up. All right. There you go. And I do need the teams. So get my little uh, cheat sheet here. Do the old copy and paste. There are all the teams. All right, we're going four times. Top team gets this uh, equipment evolution uh, card here. Two, three, and money shot four. Boom, four times. As you can see, the top team, the Angels. So the Angels will be receiving this... Uh, Equipment Evolution card of uh, the Baseball Glove. Alright, there you go, Angels. And let's go through the hits here. So, let's start with these. Brinson Marlins, 76. Kluber Indians, 25. Porcello Red Sox, 67. Robert Selman of the Mets, to 50. And these two are not numbered. But if you'll notice, they do have the old school tops logo at the top left right there. Pretty sweet. All right. Patches. We have Mike Trout Angels, Glaber Torres Yankees, Miguel Cabrera Tigers, Buster Posey Giants, Shohei Otani Angels, Yadi Molina Cardinals. So not a single autograph came out of any of these six boxes but we did get some short prints we got Mike Trout Angels Aaron Judge Yankees Justin Turner Dodgers Whit Merrifield Royals Jose Ramirez Indians and Buster Posey of the Giants and that was the break my friends thank you very much